<laughs> Republicans only have a four-seat majority in the House. They have to stick together. If they don't, the Democrats divide and conquer. So what happened today? 210 Republicans backed McCarthy for Speaker, and 208 Democrats joined forces with just eight Republicans to oust McCarthy. Eight Republicans have more power than over 200 of the rest of the Republicans. And they use that power to kill their leader today. McCarthy says eight Republicans just handed the House over to Democrats. What, what about these Republicans, Republicans who are opposed to you? I mean, what has gone on here? What do you think is their thinking? And these, these are the same ones who opposed me before. And so and they're turning the floor over to the Democrats. So Congress has 45 days to pass a budget or the government shuts down. But they can't pass anything until they vote on a new speaker. To your colleagues who argue you don't have another name right now. You don't have someone else who could get 218 votes. What do you tell those? Well, I would tell them that for certain, Kevin McCarthy can't get 218 votes. So let's try the next person. Congressman, at this so point, will you be putting is... yourself forward for the speakership? Absolutely not. I have no desire to be Speaker of the House. So Matt Gates doesn't want to be speaker, and he has no idea who else should be speaker. He just knows Kevin McCarthy shouldn't be speaker. And why would anybody want to be speaker if one guy has the power to throw you overboard? The Democrats are laughing at the Republicans now. The Republicans just dethroned their best fundraiser and throttled the impeachment inquiry. So what's going to happen this week? Nothing.